My name is Jennifer Tripoli and I am a customer value analyst here at GSK. And pretty much by customer value, I mean we collect information from customers, uh, really information that they find valuable to them, and then use that internally to be able to, at the end of the day, provide a better product or better service for our customers, for the patients, for the doctors. So there's two different types of analysis. And by analysis, you collect information and then find a way to, you can apply formulas to it, but at the end of the day, you're finding a way to solve a problem using that information. So the two different types are qualitative and quantitative. Quantitative is your typical, you're collecting information, you're collecting numbers, and then you're using formulas and stuff to, to answer questions. Um, qualitative analysis is when you collect actual you know, verbal data. A lot of times that's in the form of an interview, or uh, a lot of times you'll, you could take surveys. So for example, if you go to Amazon.com and you order a product, you'll a lot of times get a customer satisfaction survey. And they'll ask questions, you know, how do you, uh, did you have a good experience with us, et cetera, et cetera. And a lot of times those answers are going to be in the form of a word as opposed to a rating. And so it's being able to take those words and make, you know, and make something that's actionable out of it. You know, whether it's applying formulas, so trading the words in for numbers and putting it into a formula. Amazon collects that information and they find out, well, how can they better serve you the next time you go to Amazon and order a product? I've always loved math, I'm not gonna lie. That's been a, a, a favorite of mine. Um, English, not so much. I took English when I had to when I was in college, bare minimum English requirements. But um, the job that I'm in now, you know, I could have taken a job that it was all math based. I mean, there's actually jobs out there for mathematicians. But I decided I don't want to do that all the time. Um, and I decided to stretch myself. And so I'm the area of market research, you know, you, you're dealing a lot with not only English, but you're dealing with a lot of things that are outside what you would consider math. So outside of formulas and equations and numbers and graphs, et cetera. Uh, so I think it's really important to stretch yourself. You know, you might be really good at something, but I can tell you that even if math isn't your favorite subject, you're going to use it and it's really helpful just, you know, to push yourself a little bit and you don't have to like it, but at least understand it and know how to use it or better yet, appreciate it.